Welcome to this week's Spore from Chips 10 Minute Topic. Chloe and myself are here at SRD Engineering in Bicester. So Chloe, what's coming up on today's show? So today we're going to be talking about the secrets behind the success of this company. Their investments, including their Matsuras, Doosans, DMGs, Citizens, and also their Hypermill software. We meet a lovely female engineer and find out about some of the intricacies of how this company works, including their transition from day to night shifts. So welcome to this week's Swarf and Chips. Chris, who are SRD Engineering? Uh, well, I'm Chris Bryant. I'm the uh, production engineer at SRD Engineering. Uh, we're a family-run business, uh, but we expanded out from, say, 10 people to now 85 uh, members of staff. Um, we mainly work in motor racing industry, uh, which, as you probably know, is fast turnaround work. Uh, we are very busy, and customers want their work probably a very short lead time. As a production manager to 85 staff members, how do you do it? Uh, it's not easy, um, but luckily all the staff that work here know the ethos of the company and know that everything is very urgent and needs a, like, a rapid turnaround. On a day-to-day -day basis, how do you manage your staff members? Because you've got a day and a night shift too. We do. Um, we've got certain team leaders to, uh, per section. Um, everybody knows their responsibility like, on the machine. Uh, yeah, so they all pitch together. It, it, it kind of runs quite smoothly, to be honest with you. What capacity of machines have you got here and brands? Yeah, so we've got um, 38 machines in total so far. Uh, we've got four sliding heads, uh, five five-axis, 11 uh, three-axis milling machines with a four-axis capability, uh, one pallet machine, and we've got 18 lathes as well. What trends are you seeing happening in engineering from your perspective? Um, well, we're seeing the motor racing come back into it. Uh, they had a bit of a layoff last year because of COVID, but right now um, they're, they're starting to push forward their work. We also got involved in COVID, uh, the ventilator challenge last year. Were you year. busy? Very busy. Uh, actually, we was working seven days a week. Um, wow. Yeah, it was it was good actually because everybody pulled together with that. That was we took pride proud, um, pride in that, uh, getting that out, and also um, we're starting to see more work coming back into the UK. The industry, the, the, the British industry, is building up. Uh, one of our main customers actually is bringing a lot of work back from abroad to be you know, machining on these aisles. So, what do you think about that personally? What will that do for? The UK engineering by reshoring work back. Oh, it's brilliant. Yeah, 100% it's brilliant. I mean, it's good having Formula One companies around us anyway. So, but getting the extra work back again into these aisles, it's, yeah, it's, it's amazing. We, you know, we want to build this industry up and um, yeah, getting the work back is definitely the start, isn't it? So, You've invested in apprentices here too, haven't you? Um, yeah, apprenticeships is something I'm definitely really passionate about myself. Uh, as I'm, I'm an apprentice uh, trained person and um, it was a little bit of lack of it uh, in the British Isles, but now I want to push it forward, uh, get more apprentices on board here, and also train people our way. And you've got a female apprentice here too, called Charlotte. We do, and it's something I'm really proud about, obviously trying to bring diversity to the machine shop. Uh, we also have a female quality engineer and a female um, uh, facility manager as well. So it's, you know, it's like we're trying to push forward in the engineering world. What problems on a day-to-day -day basis do you overcome when running a machine shop? What do you come up against that's quite tough? Uh, SRD personally is a lot of very urgent work. Um, we, we, again, that's one thing we're reliable on is trying to churn out work that's needed the next day pretty much. So we have to get through the system, we're getting the material out, getting onto the machine. The guys that run the uh, machines can also program, so we have you know, a quick turnaround in that sort of sense. And I can see around your machine shop, you've got a KPI, a key performance indicator, so of course that's got to be helping you and the team members to know exactly what you're doing. Yeah, definitely. Obviously we use them to see it, monitor how progress is going, but it's also good for our staff to see how we actually are performing, obviously figure-wise and um, you know, and also performance in you know, quality, because we pride ourselves on our quality. Where do you see the future of SRD Engineering? We want to build ourselves up. You know, we don't want to stop at 85 people, we want to get more staff in here. Obviously that would mean more investments in machines, so we want to start with a slider section, maybe get another slider. Maybe another five axis. We are invested in three machines that are coming in next month, so we're not stopping. I want to build up the night shift and maybe, like I said, another possible shift to go on top as well to build up the capacity to get more work in. So I'm in the middle of a do some party and I'm with Dan and he's going to do a dance for me. Okay, maybe not. But what I wanted to say is here we are at the heart of engineering we've had a look at the five axis machines where they're using high technology but 
They have up to 18 juice and lays here. They are doing high-end batch work, up to thousands for their customers, but also they're doing up to 20 to 25 in their small batch work, which is where these juice and really come into play and their rhythm machines. So as an all-round, SRD, they are looking to invest in high new technology, but three-axis machining is also still heart of engineering. Just to tell you about more of their machines that they have, they've got four Citizen sliding head machines. Now, surely as a business, as an operator, if you've got a machine that you can leave running, you don't need to think about, gives you peace of mind, then surely that is gold. Well, in fact, it is to this company because one of the bosses told us that they left one of these machines running for weeks on end, same part, didn't even need to think about it. I mean, how incredible is that? So. It would not surprise me if in the future they look to invest in more Citizen sliding heads. So I wanted to introduce you to one of the machines they've got here at SRD Engineering, which is the H Plus 300. This is one of Matsura's fastest and most popular selling horizontal machining centers. Now, in fact, SRD Engineering love this machine for many reasons, but they feel that over COVID with the ventilator challenge, they couldn't have taken on the work that they had and they were working this machine seven days a week, 24 hours a day. Now they love the machine, They're all, they've got tombstones on the machine. Um, they've also got 15 pallets on here. And they had a customer the other day that needed something very, very quickly. And within 10 minutes, I'm told, they had that part set up and ready to go. So super fast, the guys and the operators love this machine. They've even said with lines like, it's micron perfect every time. If we can hold it, we can machine it. So that's talking about the different materials. And one of the guys even quoted that it's a dream just to watch it. Also, it's a machine where it gives the guys, uh, the, all the team members, a bit of peace of mind. This is not a machine that they have to worry about or anything like that. And also the machine, it will run and run and run. And they're more than happy to challenge you and get different materials on here to really push this to its limits. Jason, you're yes. the team leader here. Uh -huh. What do you like about working at SRD Engineering? Um, we have quite a varied uh, selection of work. Every day is different in here because uh, we're a subcom firm, so we don't do the same things day in, day out. Do you like constant, that, though? Yes, it's a constant challenge. So there's always something that needs to be done. It's thought about, tooling, methods, um, getting the lads involved, getting training, and all sorts of bits and pieces, basically. And you've got a, you know, you've got a huge variety of machines here. Uh -huh. um, What's your favourite to work on, in, a, in your personal opinion? My favourites are the driven tooling machines because it gives you the ability to do more and more fun shapes and just create more bits and pieces really, you know. We do the milling, turning, cross holes um, and then you've got fixtures and just generally, yeah, just makes it more interesting when you're doing something that's a bit of a challenge sometimes. And how do you find the shifts because you run lights out overnight as well, so how do you find like the running of that? Day well, shift, a, night shift. Yeah. Um, it, yeah, it's usual. It's a little bit challenging sometimes because obviously you've got two people sharing a machine. One person might do something a little bit different to somebody else, but generally, yeah, we try our best to get it through, communicate the jobs through, hand them over. And um, that's actually interesting. So from the day shift to the night shift, how do you get over that hurdle and what hurdles do you come up against? Well, usually what we try to do on the day shift is because night shift don't have the, um, the support from the customers, so what we'll do is the day shift try to get the job set and running and then we have the night shift run the jobs out. So there's less amount of men on the nights, but they'll run from different machine to different machine. So more technical work set during the day and then the night shift will carry on and then hopefully by the morning jobs are finished and then we can crack on with the next job. So Charlotte, you've been working here at SRD for three years. Has it got yeah. easier over the years? Uh, no. <laughs> Well, there's always new challenges every day, which I enjoy. As I've been progressing, the jobs are getting harder, it's more challenging, which I enjoy. I like to be challenged in this industry. That's fantastic. But in here, I, I'm asking you, is there a lot of help? Like, if you have questions, are there, is there always someone to help you on how? Always someone to help, yeah. Everyone's happy to help, share ideas, different ways of machining, different parts. So, yes, yeah, it's, it's That's good. great to hear for an industry point of view that the company works as a whole. Yeah. So, in real terms, how has the company been for you? I love working here. Yeah, I couldn't doubt the company at all. The people are amazing, the job's amazing. I love it. 